Ahoy! 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 Ahoy, Internet! Welcome to the seventh and final episode of the 20 Something's Guide to Sustainable Living. This is the finale. Now, I've been absolutely heartwarmed and I cannot believe the amount of responses and replies I've been getting from people. But there was also plenty of people in real life that I was bumping into that were saying great things and I managed to bump into this one guy on the bus and he was like a professor of sustainability and he was doing this massive project and it was just my fluke that he gave me his card so that I could interview him and I thought that would be absolutely great. You know, this was the beginning of the project and I was like, wow, you know, I said I wanted to interview people. And then I realised, no, I'm not going to interview this guy because that wasn't my mission statement. My mission statement was the 20 somethings guide to sustainable living. Now, I wanted to aim it at 20 something year olds who don't have a lot of capital, who don't have a lot of money to spend on things, and who, who don't really have a lot of political pulling power by themselves. Now, that guy was going to talk about wind farms, and solar panels, and massive things. And they're all really great, don't get me wrong, but it's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about all the little things that you can do to change your life and to live more sustainably and just and just the little things that you can take away from it. And yes, my series is designed to resonate with everyone. It's designed that everyone can identify with it, but it is targeted at 27 year olds. The whole point of these videos wasn't so that everyone would go out and do every single thing that I suggested, but that you should be able to take something from maybe one video or maybe from a couple of videos, but you should be able to take something on board and change one habit because at least one habit is going to make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Let's look at some outtakes. And I'm rambling and I know I can do this better. I shouldn't lean in, eh? It's kind of not leaning in. <laughs> There's a cloth in that motion because you needed to be showing. Ah. Word. There's some nice duct tape in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Going like this really fast and you couldn't understand me. So if that wasn't all interesting to you, there's actually a hilarious extended cut which will be on my personal channel. Oh, it's right there! What a shock! So we've reached the end of the video and I don't even know how it happened but that also means we've reached the end of the project. Has it been amazing for you too? I hope that you've watched all my previous videos and that you've enjoyed them. I hope that you take something from them and I really hope that you watch, share and repeat my videos because I really need to get them out there because this is a competition. Did I neglect to mention that? This is a competition that could send me to New York and the Tribeca Film Festival. Shaking my hands means that I, I really want it, evidently. Which, as you know, is pretty awesome because I am Australian and I am a filmmaker and that kind of blows my mind. And if you're interested, I will not leave you in the ledge. The personal channel which I have got written somewhere on the screen will document my journey should I win. So if I win, it's not like you'll never hear from me again. If you're interested, you can hear how it goes. But if I don't win, I just want to thank you everyone who's come along on this journey. It has been amazing. I feel like I've learned so much and I feel like I've so many people have affected me. It's it's been brilliant and I, I really genuinely appreciate the responses that I've had from people. Thank you. I will be reading comments. I will be still communicating through you in a text format. I will be still talking on my personal channel. I just won't be uploading anymore on this channel. Thank you. Cheers, internet. Bye.